Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are reviewing Eagle Rare. The old Eagle Rare. The old Eagle Rare. I figured it was kind of like the perfect time to do Eagle Rare. And this is an old bottle. Apparently the new bottles have a like a little upper age statement somewhere here. Oh, does it? Yeah. No. I don't know. I was actually going to say that was like my last one from that case I bought. Uh, so there was a liquor store going out of business at one point in time. Shocking. Didn't Shocking. know those actually happened. And that must have been pre-COVID. And it was actually pre-COVID. And I went in there and I bought like four of those. And I think like some, uh, I think I got like Russell's pick out of there too. Anyway, nice. Holy sidetracked here. So it's around 4th of July-ish whenever we're putting this review out. So we kind of thought, hey, what's more uh, America than an old eagle? Than eagle. <laughs> than an eagle. So uh, basically... You know, we all know Eagle Rare. It's made by Buffalo Trace, 90 proof. It's around 30 bucks, even though nobody can get it for 30 bucks. Nope. And a lot of people chase after it. Yeah. So, what's your opinion on Well, what's your general opinion on Eagle Rare? It's fine. Fine. It's my general opinion. So, honestly, it's fine. I've always kind of said, like, the same thing, but the more I've sipped on some store picks here recently, I'm like, I'm starting to come around to uh, store Like, I like store, there's, I, I'll tell you the truth, I've had a few store picks that I really like, mm -hmm. and then a couple of drinks from some store picks that I just went, I'm not a fan of that at all. But, really? Yeah. I don't know if I've ever had a pet. So, but, it's fine. Didn't this, uh, didn't this win our, our blind? Uh, yes, it did. So, which, which I, so if you haven't watched it yet, we did a 10-year bourbon battle where we had, like, Michterston, Henry McKenna, Eagle Rare, Russell Stinn. It sparked a lot of conversation. It surprisingly <laughs> did. Like, it, and honestly... I didn't realize there was a lot of Henry McKenna fans out there. I honestly didn't realize how many people thought Russell's 10 was, like, going to win. Yeah. Like, a, there's a lot of comments on there for Russell's 10. Well, you know, like, I, it, you know I'm it, a fan of it. So. It was honestly kind of a mixed match of yeah. people. And then there were some people like, there's, like, yeah, that bad bottle of Mixer's 10. Yeah. It's not bad bottle. It's just. No, it's fine. It, actually, I like it. But. It's fine. I, like I said in the in the actual video, I was like, eh, I have a feeling I'm going to pick that. For the price, it's fine. Actually, I don't know. It's kind of steep nowadays. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. For the price, <laughs> that's fine. Oh. Uh, All right, here we go. So, this nose, this nose is so fruity. It really is. Like, you, I mean, you get it like just about every fruit that you can imagine in there. I, I just get like a really nice apple peel. Apple. Get a little bit of a citrusy kind of pop in there. Get a. It's like a. It's almost like a smidge of like grape Kool Aid. You always say that that grape Kool Aid in there. I, I, I just it, it's not as like fresh fruit grape. It's more of that artificial grape. I'm trying to get it. I'm like, trying to smell I mean, it. it, it you don't have to try it just to get it. Get it. I'm but just trying to. I'm just trying. It's to almost see like there was like a squirt bottle of like <laughs> like grape Kool Aid. Yeah. There's like just like just a just little bit. Put a little smidge. Eh. A little bit of honey, not not too overcomplicated. No, it's sweet. Yeah, got that little bit of brown sugary taste to it. It's like a burnt brown sugar. Yeah, but I do agree with brown sugar. There's still some light fruit on there. I think that brown sugar kind of takes the palate. And then I also think, like, a little bit of, just a twinge of, like, a little bit of honey in there mm -hmm. after about the second drink. And I, I think that honey and that fruit pop a little bit more. A little bit more, like, it's, it's almost like a... Like a fruit that you'd have, like in a uh, in like a mixed drink or whatever, like a you know, like a peel of some sort or yes. something like yeah, you know, like one of those little fruits on like the stick or whatever you put in there, whatever they're called. There's some bartender out there they can probably say the technical term. I have no clue. Fruit on a stick. Yeah, fruit on a stick. That's what I like. A fruit kebab. 
and just like a little bit of honey. Not a lot, just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. The finish is nice. It's sweet. It's not. It's not long. No, but it's not super not. short either. It's like in the. It's like in the medium range. Coats really well. I can tell I haven't had anything to drink today because it's got a little bit of fuzziness on my lips. There you go. But yeah, it's it's a super nice ninety proofer. Yeah. Great age statement of ten years. It's cheap in theory. Yeah. Even on secondary prices, you can still go buy much more expensive bottles in the store everywhere. Yes. Yeah. I I don't want to say I get it, but at the same time, it is. it would probably be in a lot more people's daily rotation of drinkers if this bottle wasn't on the secondary. No, if it was sitting on the shelves, I think people would. I think, I, you're, I, I, I think I, you're definitely right. I think people would mm -hmm. buy it. I agree. So, drink it. It's And it's still not bad, even at the... At the fifty dollars that you're gonna pay secondary, yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever that, whatever it is, whatever that is, if you're willing to do that, it's still not crazy at that price to think like, no, considering we just saw that Russell's at total wine for like eighty bucks, I, yes, <laughs> but I would say this for me, it's it's one of those bottles. If I have one, I typically don't buy. It, it's yeah. you know now if it's a store pick that's a totally different conversation but just talking like sure. a, a standard eware if it's a bottle that I already have I won't buy it if I don't have one then I will buy it no. if that makes sense and I don't honestly yeah I keep it more open for people to want to try yeah um, it's not a bottle I go to a lot now you know again if it was a store pick that's a different conversation but yeah it's just but it it is a really good I think beginner bottle I don't think it's a terrible bottle at least in our area to find if you're trying to chase after that stuff um now yes we live in kentucky so i get if you live yeah. in other parts of the country it can be terrible terrible i get hard. it yeah terrible but, hard to get. but this henry mckenna and there's a, a few other uh, but i'm a, a few others that are what we consider yeah. low-end allocation sure um that people chase after uh which is you know to me this is the better one of of those of what i would say those two if oh, i was gonna yeah yeah that's fair that's uh, fair. so it's a have on the bar i have one mm -hmm. you know on the bar yeah uh it's especially because a lot of people will come to your house people who don't know what or you know no don't know what they're drinking and they want mm -hmm. something like hey give me some good stuff and yep. you're like all right well here's some allocated stuff here you go it's also a really good bottle for people to i i think it's a really good bottle that people who are new to bourbon, whiskey, whatever, sure. they go after it, they get it. And then kind of once they've had it and they start to grow a little bit more in their, yeah, it can, in their journey of, of whiskey and bourbon. And you could almost stuff. call it like a palate developer. Kind of is. Yeah. And, and actually that's a really good point. This is actually one of the bottles, uh, how I killed the last bottle. This is one of my warm up whiskeys that I like to use depending on what we're drinking. Like I kind of have like in my mind, like depending on the distillery and stuff, I like to have certain warm up whiskeys and, and dang on it if you aren't right i just got a great taste i'm telling you it's there you're a jerk it's all in right. my head now right. i think you're get you're, us out of here now, now now that i've planted that seed you planted the seed all right well until the next time we'll see you see you